Here's a look outside right now where we are dealing with dust. Look at that milky sky. That's what it's going to look like all day long. So Sarah dust is known to bring vibrant sunrises and sunsets, but I think we're going to have just too much of the dust today to really get in on the vibrant view. Instead, we're going to be the milky view. Lots of just white haze showing up. We also have low level moisture, which does create some cloud coverage, a little bit of fog showing up in places such as sent in this morning. Visibility is down about five miles, which isn't horrible, but it's not great either. So yeah, it's just a, a, ugh, a yuck kind of day. Not only are we going to be dealing with the dust, but we also are going to have high humidity and heat. This dust does have our air quality at the unhealthy for some level. So they consider limiting the time you spend outdoors today and not doing anything too strenuous. Uh, allergy like symptoms may be prevalent because of the dust. So just keep that in mind. Our feels like temperature right now at 649 AM is 83 degrees with a light south southeast breeze. The wind is going to pick up today. It's going to be really hazy, even though we've got clear skies and sunshine. Instead of seeing the sun in the blue sky, it's going to feel a little bit white, it's almost like there's a cloud layer but it's not clouds. It's the dust. We will see a temperature around 92 degrees. I think we'll stay in the low 90s because of the dust. It's going to filter out some of that heat, uh, kind of like a cloud would, but it's not going to do much. So we're still going to be nice and hot and humid. Our wind breezy out of the south southeast there. It's shifting southeast into this afternoon, even at six o'clock. We're still talking a sustained wind around 19 miles per hour. Your feels like temperature at 6 p.m. 100 degrees by 8 p.m. will feel like it's 93 degrees, but overall, yes, it's still hot and humid. Your sunset will be at 820. That dust, we're going to see less of it heading into Friday. Then there's going to be a hint of haze on Saturday and Sunday. So here's one of the reasons why we're dealing with the dust. We've got high pressure. It's going to shift a little bit closer to Texas into Thursday. And as it does so, it's going to push more of that dust up north and it's going to tap into this upper level trough that's making its way through. Yes, there is a cold front we're watching. The cold front is going to make its way into Texas. We'll see a little bit of rain across central Texas, but the high pressure is going to hold on pretty steady for South Texas, and that's going to limit us from seeing much in the way of rain. Maybe some sea breeze action into early next week, but it doesn't look like much. We're going to be mostly rain free, and you can tell exactly where that high pressure sets up on that rainfall forecast. It's going to keep us pretty dry. However, as I mentioned, past Saturday, so Saturday into Sunday and Monday, Central Texas may see a few showers with that front trying to sneak in. As far as temperatures go today, we're still turning a little cooler a little drier with the Saharan dust as well. But as we head into the weekend, those dangerous heat index values right around 110 are going to be back, not to mention air temperature right around 97. Our normal temperature for this time of year, our normal high, that's 95 degrees normal low 76 degrees. We've been running well above that we will we'll be in the upper 70s throughout much of the upcoming week. We are going to see our high temperatures climbing above normal for Saturday and Sunday. Hottest days look to be over the weekend. The dustiest day will be today. John Thomas.